Hello everybody. So today is a Saturday and we are heading out to the Saturday Haflong Bazaar. Let's go. Saturday market is best you go to the meat shop to get your pork. If you're early, you'll get the best ones. If you're late, you will not get the good ones. So we head first to get the meat. So I also bought some chicken. So today we have a home session. So we just make chicken. Do you too, Leah? I always like this corner, they always have this. This is a very old shop. This is where I call Somber Mama shop. I have been coming here since childhood. So I have seen all of them and I have grown and the shop still sells. <laughs> So this is also one of the oldest shop, Vishnu Babuka Dukan. That's how people know this shop as. So this is the shop where you get varieties of bakery biscuits, apple biscuit, dunta biscuit. That's the popular food roll. So the market looks a little empty because it's just 8.39 in the morning. So most of the villagers are, <laughs> they come early in the morning. And they bring very, uh, bring very less produce. So it gets over very soon. So we are quite early. By the time we go around in the market, they will be settled and we'll be uh, buy some stuff. Um, leave early. So it's very easy breezy to come a little early because it's not very crowded. When you come around 10, I think it will be super crowded. Grandfather. Most of my childhood days I grew up in this shop. My grandfather was Deva Majun. That's how old people uh, from the older generation recognize him. Half of the ladies from nearby villages they are unloading now, so they will set up the shop in a while. Bide, come in now. 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 This is our lal field. They have modified it a little to accommodate them, but it still accommodates the same number of people. It was a very quick, fast Saturday bazaar shopping. Saturday in our half long town we have this half long market day it's called Bazaar Din so the villagers from the nearby district they all come to sell all, all of their organic produce so let's start these are the just two bags 
uh, these bags they come for like 40 50 rupees okay let's see with the first ones these are my favorites they are called mojo kambal in the masa language we eat it raw or we can also use it as a salad dressing or even make it into chutneys with dry fish so we bought these two they're like for 20. i got lots of pudina 11 bunch of these only if you could smell how fresh it is at the moment so i will make chutney out of it i'll put a little bit of arm june and and we also plan to make some cocktail for our guests who are coming tomorrow for dinner we have two pages 90 rupees so that's that and this is what we call kim khatai um it's good for your health it's good for bad diabetic patients it's a bit, little bit bitter i love them because my father introduced me to them my father just eats them like boiled so i eat them boiled you can even fry them, turn it into a curry sabji. So these are bitter tomatoes. We bought it for 20 rupees. So quite a lot. And I found these very fresh today. They are, we call it daumalai. It has this little bit of sticky gooey texture once you break the stems, but how I make it is we make it into salad. We boil them first a little bit and then with assorted, you assort it with cashew nuts and onions and however. But I've also seen people use it to cook their meat. Once your pork meat is almost done, you just put it over it, steam, steam it. It's very tasty. So it's called Damalai in our language. I think it's also called vegetable fern. If I'm not wrong, let me know if I'm wrong. So lots of bitter tomatoes. Bitter, bitter, bitter. And we bought this for Dahlia. He consumes a lot of bananas. So these are organic. I bought it for 90 rupees. It, ha it has like tin ali. It's me tin ali hai. So in our Local language, we call it ek ali mein char piece hota hai, so yaha pe teen ali hai. So that's that. And I bought you black salt. We were running out of black salt, so black salt goes here. We call this latia. What do you call it? How do you eat it? Dry fish. Uh, this dry fish is basically from putti, putti mash. And I bought 2 kg of chicken. And I'm a big fan of agarbatti. So I bought Leah Kagarbatti, a bundle. It cost me 170. And I bought bread and butter for my dear husband from Vishnu Babuka Bakery. If you all know, I did a we went to that shop. So people Remember Vishnu Babu, have old memories. They are still standing there. And since we're running out of green tea, I bought Gaya's lemon leaf green tea. This is some Kabuli Chana. This one. I want to eat them, like for salad, sort of. So we bought half a kg of these Chana. And we bought Rajma. Here. This is Rajma. And we got Masoor Dal, half a kg. 50. And Naga lady was selling it. This is for 20. This is also for 20. So they are like Rajma's cousin. Costing 20 rupees. And we bought these soda to use it in our sabji. The last thing we bought was this gur jaggery from my sister's shop. Shop as in like she sits under the roof in Lalfield. So they have a farm in Red Zod. So they have their own local produce. They have sugarcane, bananas, 
a um, lot of stuff lot of stuff in their in their farm so we even bought uh, potatoes from their farm around 50 kgs till now so i highly recommend this jaggery they are very they are they go very well with your lal chai in the morning as well as in the evening so this was our haul for today for saturday so let me know how did you like it so if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up like comment and subscribe bye